Jackie and I are super close, being twins. We both work for the same company, do the same job. We ride horses together, we go to the gym together. We've done most things together. Together. And together they got dogs. Christine first with Herman a Dachshund cross, and then Jackie with rescue dog Labrador Libby. Are you ready? But their dreams of spending doggy days out together <laughs> always turn into a nightmare. Herman took an instant dislike to Libby and got progressively worse. Herman! Get off her! Just chaos. And the more that she runs, the more Herman wants to chase her. <laughs> So you went again then? For the twins, there's little doubt who's to blame. We call him the Hermanator. To me, Herman is bullying Libby. Stay there now, sit! That's naughty boy! God, you naughty boy! We just can't get him off the lead, Chris. No, it's just impossible. ridiculous. She all right? My heart is pounding with the stress of it all. Did we ever think that we'd have dogs that don't like each other? No. Morning. Oh, hello, Hi, Herman. Yeah. Nice hello, to see you. Oh, this is Herman, Herman. by the way. Hello, you. You're cute. Jackie, Christine? No, Christine. Christine, yeah, right. Yeah, that's it. Come in, please. Christine, OK. He's lovely. Just wait until Libby comes in. That's when you tend to see his whole personality change. Yeah, OK. Right. He will kick off as soon as she comes in the room. OK, well, forewarned is forearm. Absolutely. Oh, well, hello, Jackie. Hey. You all right? Yeah, yeah, good. Hi, uh, hello. You? This is Libby. Hello, Libby. Oh, hey, no! Get off her! Bitter then. Got oh, oh, He's gone round the side. Right, get off. Enough. Libby, come here. Hello, you're nice. Hello. Hey. <coughs> and what happens when this starts to happen? What do you normally it escalates. Do? It starts to escalate. Right. Yeah, we've got to get in the, the middle of them basically because he will just keep cycling her out, and it just doesn't yeah, yeah. stop. Enough. Enough. Over there. Come on, Pat. Don't you fight me. Leave! Graham wants Herman to learn the rules of doggy playtime, which means no barking and definitely no biting. So the message is, if you play nicely, you can play. But as soon as you get a little bit nasty, game over. And what I'm bargaining on is, he wants to play. So he's going to get what he wants if he's nice. Sounds good. Herman will be allowed to approach Libby, but at the first sign of aggression... No, no. ..he'll get reeled ah, no. back in before Libby loses it and does a runner. Good boy. Try again. Go on, then. Good boy, that's fine. No, no. Bit of time. Calm down. And then... Go on, try again. Good boy. That's it. If Herman displays good etiquette, Graham thinks Libby will become more confident. Come on, then. let's go see Libby. Where's Libby? Good boy, that's fine. Good, good boy. Girl. It's just repeat, repeat, isn't it? Until it he, is. Until he gets the message. With both dogs now responding well, Graham hands over the reins. Come on, say hello to Libby. Boy, good boy. Dare I say, it actually looks a bit better than when I was in charge of Herman. Bisley! Maddie is a two-year-old Doberman and Bisley a five-year-old boxer. Bisley is a likeable lump and Maddie is a highly strung Princess. Diva. And together they can turn even the smallest outing into a day from hell. They are both really amazing dogs in the house but the second we take them outside, their recall disappears, their respect disappears, everything that we love about them pretty much disappears. Bisley! 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 But it's off-lead that things are at their very worst. Our absolutely overriding problem is it's recall. recall. Bisley has an overwhelming desire to make friends. Bisley! When you've got a 50 kilo boxer running at you, the amount of awkward run-ins we've had with people, I mean, there's just too many to count. Maddie, on the other hand, has a compulsion for country smells, which could put her in grave danger. Do you want to show me what they're like off lead? Sure. 
Stay, Bisley. Stay. No, Bisley! Bisley! Bis! Bisley! Bis! Bisley! Maddie! Bisley! Sorry. Maddie, quiet. Oh. Maddie, okay. come here. Come here. Come on. Wait. Maddie, come on. As soon as they're off leave, Bisley and Maddie just belt off because, well, frankly, what's over there is more fun than Mum and Dad. And I think they've tried lots of different things, but the bottom line is there's no consequence for not coming back. The key to establishing good recall is making coming back more rewarding than running off. But it's something that needs to be taught one pooch at a time. Maddie's up first. So she's really interested in the smell in this field. So is she going to come back? Maddie! Here? No. <laughs> well, she came back to you. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs do that. Let's try this. She's with you now. Maddie, here. Maddie, here. Maddie, here. Good, yeah. No, here. Yes, what's this? Maddie's return earns her a delicious treat and an extra helping of praise. Maddie, here. Ah, oh, clever girl, what's this? Now it's time for Sam to take on Bisley's shocking recall. Bisley, here. Bisley, Flake. here. Flake. Bisley, here. Flake. Biz, here. Here. But this boxer is putting up a fight. Here. Here. Good, Good boy. boy. Don't sound frustrated. Good boy. Bisley, here. Bang. Here. Bisley, here. Here. Biz, here. Here. Good, Good boy. Lad. Good boy. Right. Whoops. Try again. Busy here. Perfect. Good boy. See? The more they practice, the better Bisley becomes. He's a good boy. And slowly treats are replaced with praise. What's this? Busy here. Here. Look at good that. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. How about That's that, Laura? Amazing. <laughs> Good boy! In Devon, master dog trainer Graham Hall is taking on two pugs, who for the last three years have spontaneously burst into attack mode. No! And it's walk time when they're at their worst. Graham fears if he doesn't stop this now, Feisty Frank could kill ageing Ralph. What happens here is like a play that's been choreographed by Will. Everything happens exactly the same way. So a harness comes out, that's when it gets scary. Ralph goes out. The harness is put on Frankie. Then Frankie's trapped in the door. He brings Ralph out. Come on. And then when the door opens, it's all hell let loose. It's one heck of a rigmarole. We need to take all of the excitement out of it. The harness is the thing, it's the thing that's that the sets trigger. them off. Mm. Yeah, the trigger. So I've got some harnesses behind me. If a new harness doesn't have an effect on them, yeah. then we're on a winner, aren't we? Yes. But if they react badly when the harnesses come out, it's really important that we nip it in the bud. Firm no, so it's no. all down to your voice, right? Yes. But if they don't react, then we need to praise them for being good boys. Right, OK. Yes, OK. okay. Simple, in theory. But with Frank always flying off the handle as soon as the harness appears, they'll need to be ready to jump in. So, there we go. Now, you can see them. Now, which way is he going to go? He's either going to go, oh, doesn't matter, or he's going to start getting funny. There you go. Good boy. How about that? Good, Good boy. boy. Not reacting is rewarded with some praise. Great reaction from you, well done. Is, I can't believe it, to be honest. Yeah. It's like a different dog who's never that my calm Frank. with harnesses before. No. Never. As soon as he sees a harness, that's when he starts to get wound up. Yeah. We just up the ante a bit, so what's going on with that? Let him have a little sniff of it and check it out, that's fine. Good boy. <laughs> the look on your <laughs> face is a picture of it. <laughs> I mean, they're so calm, they're actually falling asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Time for the next step putting feisty Frank's harness on. But will this four-legged ticking time bomb stay calm when the harness actually goes on? Now, now the harness is going on, I can see he's got a bit more excited. Let's see what happens. He's yawning. He's yawning, which sometimes is a stressy thing. Good he's boy. licking his lips, that's similar. Good boy. That's it. And then give him a bit of slack. 
That's it. I'd still hold on to it, but not tightly. There you oh, go. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was pretty much a non-event, I thought. Well, you're calling it a non-event. I'm surprised how calm <laughs> he was, because I've never put a harness on Frank and him being so calm. Right. I literally can't believe it. So far, so good. Well, there's only one last stage to do, isn't it? How do you feel about going for a walk? Yeah, let's go. All right. Grace. <gasps> no. Yeah, but when both dogs have paws on the floor, ready to so be well. walked, the temperature hey. rises. No. <laughs> no. And the dogs cool. continue to goad each other. No. Hey, no. Despite no. repeatedly being told to stop. No. 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 Meaning Graham has to step in to take charge. Oh, hey, come here. There. Now we're getting somewhere. Let him sit down again with you. Good boy. Calm restored. <laughs>